the worst apartment that I have ever experienced. Hi travelers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco. Welcome back to my channel. So, are you thinking about living and working in China? This is my worst example of an apartment living abroad. waste of space by the door. This is a pile of rubbish that I need to take out. And then straight into the bathroom. Nowhere to put the toilet roll. So I really just have to have it just there. The one thing that I do like about the shower is the heat lamps, which I literally run all day long. Again, I'm going to hang my towel, so I hang it over the door. And it is the smallest place that I have ever, ever stayed in. <sighs> this is the crappiest apartment I've had overseas, without doubt. They gave me this desk, which this is the best place that I know where to put it. And there's nowhere to put my bathroom stuff, so I have to put it on the windowsill. I do most often have this shut, so that yeah, then my products aren't getting heated up. This is also quite cold. It's very cold to touch um, in winter. The only form of heating I have is this, and it, again, runs all the time. It says on it's 29 degrees. It is not 29 degrees and never ever has been. I've never turned the TV on because I've never bothered to get an HDMI cord. Huge cupboard, and I can't lift my suitcases enough to put them on top. Storage is fine, like there's plenty of storage. And otherwise it's just just shelves. And then I have my linens up here, and then that's the summer. That's the summer duvet that they provided. So these are the linens that I began with. One flat sheet, and this is the duvet cover that I just haven't been bothered to put on, back on. Uh, towels are mine and yeah, the sheets are mine. I bought that towel with me for those of you that have been following along. I, I, this is a Sheridan towel from home that I bought with me because I just love Sheridan <laughs> and it makes me feel comfortable. And then yeah, from the bed, all of three steps into the kitchen. And this pretty much represents what it looks like. I am constantly doing this to move. This space is actually supposed to be for this fridge but it makes noise and I cannot sleep with a fridge going and my head is right here. It just doesn't work out. So I moved it and put it here. So it is a bit of a juggling act but otherwise then I would have absolutely no room to dry my clothes. This is a dehumidifying unit which was provided but I did have to ask many many times and actually, I only have it because a staff member has left and I took hers. So plenty of storage, in fact, unnecessarily so because they don't provide you with much. Uh, please remember to watch my video on my welcome pack. There is no need for all of these cupboards. I would much rather have living space. So yes, all of this was provided. Um, jug, toaster, microwave, and Wi-Fi. I mean it is an enclosed space so that's nice. This bar was actually the only washing line that they gave us and I've never used it. I think it's completely useless. What am I supposed to wash? Two shirts at once? So I did ask and they did provide me one of these but as I say it's a constant. <laughs> Look the view isn't terrible. So these are other apartments in the next building over. Of course it can only focus on the disgustingness of the window, but it's not a terrible view. I do have other videos of other apartments I've had whilst living abroad, so please check out those. I'll put them in the description box below. My number one tip is once you are looking more seriously at a position to ask for the contact details of someone that works there. 
Sometimes a recruiter won't be able to give you that information. However, I would keep pushing it because that's really how you can get insight and really and really make the decision for yourself. Now, of course, we all have different standards of living, but one problem with living in this province is it's quite humid, and so these apartments are full of black mold. Full of black mold. Uh, my solution has been, and I got this idea from a co-worker, has been vinegar in a spray bottle. So whenever I see it creeping up, just give it a quick spray. And then it sometimes disappears, it sometimes grows further. So it's not a workable solution. They might come in if you keep pushing them. They might come in and they will paint over it. Constantly running the dehumidifier to take suck that moisture out. That is the one thing with a small space, at least the size of this dehumidifier. For this room, it does work. But I still have black mold. So it's just an ongoing battle and it is awful awful living conditions just so poor let me start with the pros lunchtime i can come home and have a nap in my own house if i want to it takes me all of a couple of minutes to just run the broom over the floor and then i will get down with the big wet wipes and wipe them up the closest mall to us when you walk in it has mcdonald's and starbucks so i won't lie that is lovely three free meals a day now, again, the Chinese food, they serve it like army food, on like those metal trays, and, and you've got, you've got it chopsticks. <laughs> At least it's different than Korea, where here there's the yeah, plastic chopsticks. And bring your own water. It is a bit hit and miss. Is this heated blanket. So it plugs into the wall here. And I just have it on 24 hours a day. I will turn it down and I'm so grateful to have such a good team around me. It sucks that we've had to come together as a result of adversity and the struggles. That's how we have that common ground. That's probably about it. Cons have been absolutely the worst internet of my life. It has been hard. China's been really hard this time and this apartment has done nothing, nothing at all to help that. Of course, yeah, I do always try to make the best of it and try and make it a bit nicer, but when we're coping with things, serious issues like black mold and very unstable internet, it takes a toll. You don't know until you try it, so I don't want this to put you off, but just to give you an idea, and if you do watch my other video of my other apartments living abroad, you will see why I'm going. <laughs> this is horrible. This is really horrible. With this poor heating over winter, it's been tough because it's cold. Like it's uncomfortably cold and I can't get it any warmer. Today is a different story, but you know, when you leave for work, you don't know if it's gonna be sunny. It's not often sunny. That's also why I'm filming today because wow, it's actually bright in here. <laughs> But by the time you get home from work during winter, it's dark. Beds in East Asia are quite hard, so it's important to get a mattress topper. If you've got an Ikea in your city, then get one there. So this is my setup for my laundry. I'm trying to wash my sheets. I bought king size sheets from Kmart when I went back to Australia briefly. And this is my drying system. So it literally takes up the entire kitchen. And I got up before work to wash the fitted sheet and you can see the <laughs> pillowcases there because I only use one pillow. This is a dehumidifier and so it's sucking all the moisture out which is lovely. So it's now lunchtime. I got up at probably put this washing on at like 7 and yeah she's dry and then I have come home at lunchtime now to deal with this. <laughs> And to put this on for a short wash to then put over top. I have to do it in two takes because I have nowhere else to put this sheet at the same time as this sheet. There's just nowhere. 